Hi Cancer, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and I'm sorry I'm late but I have had technical difficulties with the computer <laughs> I've been busy trying to sort it out for the last five hours it wouldn't start up and luckily, uh, luckily uh, I've got it started and it's bank holiday so I was panicking anyway, uh, here I am and I hope you're well and safe and here we go with your reading let me just adjust this so you can see the whole picture um, and if you're new then welcome to the channel and I hope you will enjoy the reading please subscribe and click on the bell and click on all then you'll be notified when I go live I go live on Monday Wednesday and Friday and I give away free cards as well as I'm uh, open to questions after um, a donation. You can donate either before I go live and then I'll get notified that I've received a payment if you can't do it. Some countries you can't do super stickers or super chats. Or you can do it whilst um, I go live with super stickers and super chats. And welcome back to my cyber angels and I'm grateful that you're loyal and that you're coming back it's awesome to see you and also in the life and for the new people I would love to meet you in the life sessions I'm using the tea leaf um, cards and the Archangel Metatron and the mythic tarot deck now there's more information for you uh, below this uh, video in the description box and there's also a white circle just there and if you click on there you can uh, go you'll be taken to the website uh, charliesangelstarot.com and you can uh, have a look there on reviews and on the play uh, and the uh, interviews and other information and what kind of readings are on offer of course so cancer here we go your first card and this reading is for the 27th of april to the 3rd of may 2020 you have the owl good advice from a wise person good advice from a wise wise person you've got the sun card as well and the sun card of course means that you are in the spotlight and something is being illuminated so have you got an issue or a question then that might be illuminated you need to sort this out and find out more information with regards to it so you might have to do some more research or ask for advice from somebody you are in the spotlight you might be in um, and a Leo might have you an eye on you as well cancer this also means moving home going on holiday or it uh, could mean that you might have a new start, a birth, a birth of a project, a birth of a child. You might be hearing uh, uh, about this or um, that somebody else is having a baby and somebody else is pregnant if you are too mature of age to uh, conceive. But if you are young enough then and you don't want to get pregnant, then take the right precautions. So promotions are here or you might be going up to the next level in a relationship from uh, going out you might get engaged or you might even uh, getting from engaged getting married or making plans. Something positive is going to happen. A new start of something. Then you've got number 33 which is a six. You are in balance and this is the, a doorway um, an arc, a uh, doorway that the angels are giving you and this card is called dimensional gateway an invitation you might even have an invitation to a wedding but definitely is an archway a gateway a uh, step through to this new beginning my darling and you might be receiving an invitation to go to a wedding or um, uh, what you call it a baby shower for instance or a birthday on Wednesday you have woman a woman dealings or relationship with a woman there you go you've got the five of once 
so you might have competition with this woman as the five of wands um, some readers say it's disagreements but I don't think it is disagreements I think it is competition it's not a real fight okay so there could be competition around you if there is disagreements they're short-lived you might have a disagreement with this lady um, but it's not very it's more competi competitive like then you've got the yin and the yang the two opposites and duality that's another word for opposites the masculine and the feminine the negative and the positive the light we can't do without light uh, and darkness oh, if we are in the light we can't do without darkness everything has got a shadow side to it and everything has got a positive side to it it's like night and day and this is the yin and the yang or the yang and the yin okay balance is needed well you've got balance here because 33 becomes a 6 but you've got 23 here which is a 5 so you've got two fives really so um, 5 and 5 is also a, 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 a dual number okay so you've got a dual number here 33 and two fives at the end of the week you've got the key and the key usually means you hold the key in your own hand successful outcome to your problems so you will get this information and most probably from a wise woman a problem solved and you've got the nine of pentacles the nine of pentacles is an end of a difficulties an end of a difficult phase a new beginning like i said you might in the beginning of the week you might have received a promotion so you're going into a better lifestyle a luxury a luxury lifestyle uh, because the nine is an ending and also where there is an ending there is a new beginning sorry guys and girls oops and um, this is the uh, the uh, Archangel Metatron card for Friday and that's 8 so 8 is the house of power your power you are in your power like it says you need duality balance is needed well you've got it you've got it in the beginning of the week you might have just lost it a little bit in on Wednesday but with these two fives I would say you are in balance you know what you're doing and what you want you've got the key in your own hand well done cancer leadership answer the call so you might find some out something you might be uh, you might have a calling like a vocation and you are definitely in your power the eight is also the house of money of inheritance for example so you might even get an inheritance or you might win the lottery or a scratch card or somebody might just give you a gift on at the weekend on Saturday and Sunday you've got a broken bridge unsuccessful outcome to a problem well you are going up and down Ooh, well this could be very exciting don't you know I mean you've got competition so it says dealing with uh, dealing or a relationship with a woman well um, let's have a look uh, like I said at the beginning of the week something is being illuminated you need more information about that there might be actually a woman that is jealous of you or will be giving you the correct advice if it is a wise woman then she'll give you the correct advice but it could also be a, p a woman that is jealous of you and um, because she's finding it too hard this competition she's not in balance but you hold the key uh, for some reason or other I'm getting a very strong feeling here that you are strong you know what you want and you're going for it and it, it might be an unaccept, unsuccessful outcome to a problem but um, I think you'll be hearing about this because you've got the Knight of Cups 
this woman could be a Cancer Scorpio or a Pisces. But it could also be a, 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 a gentleman, because a knight is a gentleman. The cards don't um, don't specify sexes, okay? But there will be an offer. There will be an offer. This could be of passion. This could be of love. And the passion being that you might be passionate about a vocation. I don't know why that word came in, but um, perhaps you a leadership. Then you might get a promotion. Leadership to lead a team at work or in a project. This could be leading a team. Uh, of friends um, with a new project, a new hobby, or at work. And uh, it says a broken bridge, an unsuccessful outcome to a problem. Perhaps you uh, didn't want this, um, but you they're offering you it anyway. Uh, let's have a look. I'm not, I'm not I'm not finished yet, so perhaps we might find the answer. You've got yellow, so that's the um, solar plex, solar plex, joy and happiness, joy and happiness. Perhaps you were expecting something, and I think it's going to happen. Um, but there are uh, there is an issue at hand that will not be resolved uh, easily. Okay, remember that. There might be somebody around that's asking you for money alone um, because you are better off or uh, let's say I find the word um, you're better you're better off than somebody and somebody that is not that well off is asking you for a loan or to give uh, or asking you to give a helping hand with something. <coughs> and uh, or they might have a, a difficult problem and you can't help them you can't solve the problem like I said you might be receiving a gift okay if you are fortunate then you might be giving the gift but if you're less fortunate you'll be receiving it and I think because you might have a promotion or you coming into money I think somebody's going to ask you for a gift or a loan, something like that, and uh, that could be uh, an unsuccessful outcome to the problem. Um, that you can't shake this person because they keep on asking you f for help or loan. Um, you know, if you've helped somebody uh, often, uh, again and again, and they keep on coming back, and you, you can't resolve this problem because it becomes a problem, it is an issue. They should go to somebody professional. So tell them that. You don't have to push them away and shove them shove them off with a flimsy excuse, but tell them to go and seek professional advice with their financial situation or issues and not to come to you all the time because you can't support yourself let alone anybody else perhaps okay so just let them know you're there for a, a helping hand and a listening ear but you can't keep on giving them loans because they are unable to pay you back for some reason there is a new beginning though like I said there is an ending and you've got a number one so there is a new beginning and I think is a new beginning to joy and happiness I think you're going to stand up for yourself and you're going to be quite surprised and you'll f you'll feel bad in one way because you can't help that person um, and you'll feel good for standing up for yourself uh, even if this person could be jealous okay so be careful communication speak up and be heard yes that's what I said like I said before I read the card I haven't even realized that in one way you feel bad because you can't help them you can help them once or twice by giving them an, uh, a, a gift or some uh, or time a helping hand or listening ear but sometimes it carries on and on and on and, and it grows it becomes bigger and so they s should seek uh, professional advice okay so speak up and be heard 
be gentle. You might feel out of balance as you've got a five, but overall you are in your strength, so you won't be too much out of balance at all. Remember, you're not alone. The angels are with you. They have your back. You've got 33 here. You've got uh, two fives here. You've got an ending. You've got the eight, the powerhouse. You're in your power. You're holding the key. This is confirming you're very strong on Friday. Now, you've also got a new beginning. Definitely new beginning. So stand up for yourself and be honest, but be gentle. It's too much of hard work to keep on giving somebody uh, uh, time that you don't, or money that you don't get back. Learn from it, Cancer. You sometimes you have to say no. Know your boundaries, let others know your boundaries. That is also, they will understand and they will give you respect. And if they don't give you respect, then they're not true friends. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Take care, be blessed and stay safe and I hope to see you in the live sessions. Ciao, ciao.